Good morning, my name is Tanya Clegg. I'm the Order Body Coordinator. I'm going to take you through how to book your OnView online proctored exam through Pearson View's website. All you will need to do is access Pearson View's website by going on to www.pearsonview.com forward slash CICM in order to sign in and um, go into your um, area. If you don't know your sign in, um, and these are different login details to our members area, CICM's login details, um, then you need to um, click on forgot my uh, username to retrieve your username that Pearson View would have set up for you at the same time as we registered you um, at, on CICM. And you need to click on my I forgot my password, which will then need you to recreate a new password and some security questions and you just need to follow the on-screen instructions to do that then you'll be able to sign in using your username and password to access the Pearson View dashboard this then takes you through to your pre-approved exams on here you'll see a full list of CICM's exams that CICM um, deliver not all these exams you'll wish to take and um, may not be part of your qualification. So it's important that you check your study um, text to make sure that you're booking the exam in which you're studying. So I'm today going to take you through the main, um, the first exam, the Credit Management Trade Export and Consumer. Now, this is the most popular exam of ours, and, and most of the time you would start with this exam. The next screen that it asked us to do is select the exam option. Now you've got two exam options here for you to take. Um, one that you can go to a test centre, so you can go to a physical test centre, um, and these are operated throughout the um, towns and cities throughout the UK and worldwide. Um, some are owned by Pearson View and some are third party test centres, but they're all accessed able to. Today, though, I'm going to take you through the online from your home or office. And this is where you would um, take your exam using a personal laptop. And it's important that you actually check the minimum requirements um, for this. So you need to check through the minimum requirements before you go ahead and confirm the booking. And today we're going to actually take you through the systems test um, in relation to um, taking this exam on your works laptop. Um, so we recommend that you use a personal laptop that's not connected to a works VPN because you do not have the administration rights to be able to disable any firewalls or security settings or applications that may be running in the background that you may be aware of. And this will restrict you from being able to deliver that exam successfully on the exam day. Now, even if you did a systems check test on your works laptop and it was showing all green ticks, it does still not mean that this will not have any issues on your exam day because we don't know what's happening and you don't have the administration rights to know what's going on in the background. So we strongly recommend you do not use a works laptop. If you go ahead and book your exam using a works laptop and you do have any issues on exam day, it is your responsibility and unfortunately you will forfeit your fee. So please make sure that if you're wanting to sit this exam at home or office, you are using a personal laptop that is not connected to a VPN. Um, you must have it wired and internet connection in order to make sure you've got the strongest connection available on your downloads and internet whilst you make a, you're, you're using um, your system. Your testing environment, um, you must have a well lit room, uh, you know, um, an area that's quiet and distraction free. And it's important to say that that during your exam, it is exam positions you're taking this exam. So this, the space in which you're taking the exam should not be through traffic. It shouldn't have anyone entering that room at the time of you taking the exam. You'll be required to take four photographs of your testing space during your checking um, system. So you'll, be, you'll need that camera to be able to, for you to do that. 
and the proctor will be monitoring um, that. So you'll need that webcam in order to um, allow someone to actually share your screen. Um, your desk should be clear of anything uh, other than what we are allowing you. There is a computer um, calculator on screen. You are allowed a, a clear bottle of water and you will need your ID requirements. Now, your ID requirements for this exam, you must have a valid government issued ID and that's a photographic ID. So you need a photo um, ID. So you need a passport or a driver license. Um, and it must be in date. And what's important is that the candidate, the ID that you're using must be in the same name as what we've got registered on CICM. If it doesn't match the first and last name, then you must get in touch with us for us to actually change that to, to um, reflect your ID so that you can book your exam using the ID that, you, that matches. So that's really important that you can get in touch with the awarding body. Now, the systems check, I will go through a quick a systems check so you can view, view the system check requirements here. Um, you know, the operating systems, it tells you about take your time to work through these um, and make sure you've got the displays and the minimum resolution required. The Internet, um, there's some recommendations about hotspots, etc. A webcam. You must have sound and a microphone in order to take this exam and your internet cookies must be enabled. Your device um, should be, you know, um, and your power source. It must be a, a good power source to be able to, to sit that exam. You can use uh, MacBooks, um, but there is um, system recommendations and troubleshooting guides all through this, um, this um, technical spec. So please have a look through that and make sure you've got the right systems in place to be able to do this booking, your exam. Now I'm going to book this online exam because I've tested, I've, I've looked at my minimum requirements. I know that I'm able to um, you know, do this. I'm now going to confirm and agree to Pearson Views policies and press next. This confirms your exam um, title. That I'm, um, the exams are in English and I'm pressing next. This then takes you through to the appointments page where this is a 24 hour on demand testing platform and our um, exams here can be taken 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year through the OnView uh, platform. So it's crucial that when you're booking your exam, you're booking the right day to meet that requirements that you're going to have the right environment. So you're not going to have people wandering in and out of the your uh, exam room. Um, and you're also going to be making sure that you're booking the time because it's a 24 hour clock. Um, some exams support delivering um, over 24 hours. So do make sure you're booking your exam, not in the middle of the night where you thought you had booked it in the afternoon. So be careful when you book things, um, you know, uh, um, and, and choose the right, the, the right, the right time. So you can see here that it's greyed out a really, really light white area and there's a tiny grey boxes that I identify when the appointments are available. So you can click through your appointments, a timetable, calendar. So you can see here Sunday the 4th is really you know light shaded out. That means it's not available. So these other ones are all available. So I'm going to cl click on a date that I've selected that um, I would like to sit my exam. I would go for 24 hour clock. So in the morning, um, in the afternoon, I'm gonna go for a two o'clock appointment. And then I'm going to check to see if my appointment time is correct. Um, 
on here. I'm also going to check my ID requirements. So is my ID matching this first name and last name? Yes, it does. Is that telephone number correct? Because this is the telephone number. If you do have issues on exam day, this is what the telephone number that Pearson View has got on their system. So if they need to contact you, is that the right number that you're going to be taking? If it is, that's absolutely great. You'll go on to proceed to check out. And this is where you'll actually have the administration um, policy. This is about checking you are going to be online proctored. It's worthwhile checking that page and reading through. You are going to complete a systems check. Today, you're going to um, complete it after this booking and also before your exam takes place. You are not going to be using a, a works laptop because we know that there's issues. You are going to have the right um, ID and you're going to follow the um, exam on, on the day guidance. So we recommend that you log in 30, day, 30 minutes sorry, before the exam um, starts to check in um, your process. And it is vital that you do a system check before your exam takes place. Reschedule policy. If you needed to reschedule an exam once you've actually submitted your exam and confirmed your exam booking, then it's 48 working hours before the exam takes place that you can reschedule an exam or cancel an exam without losing your fee. Now, if you actually have any problems, then the customer service team at Pearson View is on this number 0161 855 7328 and it would be them that you would need to contact in uh, the first um, just to make sure that everything's in place. Now I'm going to accept them policies. I'm now over to the payment section. Now for anyone that's actually paying for the exam themselves, you can pay by credit um, card details um, down here is quite straightforward. If you have prepaid for your exam or your apprentices that are training provider or your company is paying for your exam, then you would have needed to ask CICM and complete a voucher request form. And I would then have provided you with a voucher number in order to take this exam. And this is where you would need to put that voucher code in there that I have given you. And that would apply and you'd press the apply button once you've put that in and it's processing that request. Then it comes up with the uh, order confirmation. Yes, I've used the voucher code and, it, uh, and the total um, now payable is zero. I'm now going to press next. And this is, we're near enough there. It's actually asking you to confirm. So you're just gonna check through everything. So it is a 60 minute exam, it's in English. I've selected the right exam. My appointment time is correct. I check in time is 30 minutes before the exam takes place and I would like to submit my order. This is where at this time um, I would like to run a systems test. Now um, it is worthwhile doing this at the time of your booking, but it's crucial that you're running a systems test on the actual laptop and in the environment in which you're taking this exam. So set it up. So when you come, to, you want to book this exam, make sure you're booking it on the laptop in which you're going to be taking your exam on. It's a lot easier to do rather than go back into um, the Pearson Views website to run a system check later. But it's really important that you set it up. So make sure you've got the internet connect connection connected. Make sure you've got the camera and your microphone working beforehand um, before you run the systems um, test. There is an exam si uh, simulation that you can actually hear and the equipment and internet connection checks. That's exactly what you're going to do at the minimum requirements. Very happy for you to actually uh, go through that again. So if you do want to um, do a systems check, um, you actually just click on that and it will let you do that. It can't run my system check at the moment because I'm sharing my screens on a different platform that it allows you to. But you can actually uh, run a system check by just clicking that and going through that process. And I would advise you all to do that before your exam booking. OK, once the system check has been done, you can go back into this and do a system check any time. So you can go back into that 
um, and that is our confirmation. Um, this confirmation email um, has you know has gone through your appointment has been confirmed and an order confirmation has um, been sent to um, my email address and that's where I will then run the system check and go back in and make sure I've done that system check successfully. If a systems check is then um, uh, run and it, it does meet the requirements, then it's absolutely fine to go ahead. If your systems test is run and there is issues, then it will highlight the issues according to the checks being made and give you some advice on how to rectify that and resolve them problems. But you must um, you must bear that in mind um, going forward. But I hope that's helped in regards to the booking process of Pearson View through OnView. Thank you.